Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special unboxing for you. This actually just came in yesterday, which was the launch of the Byredo and Off-White collaboration here in the United States. They launched in London first and then they went to Paris and then I think their final trip is to the US. The fragrance elevator music was also a limited release prior to this. Just a side note, I am still recovering from my cold. That's why my voice is still a little off. So I got this from the New York store. They were able to send it to me during the day of the launch and here is the receipt. And then there's actually a card in there too. I'll show you a little bit later. This is the dust bag that it comes in. It's kind of large, so I don't have it all in the frame, but that's a top, it's a drawstring dust bag. And there's a print on the side of it. Elevator music refers to various styles of soundscapes, primarily intended for passive listening. And this dust bag is actually pretty well made. When I compare this to Louis Vuitton's dust bags, the stitching on this is a lot better. And the bag I got is... This is the beach bag in natural color, which is like a ecru color in French. And it's off-white, which is kind of funny because that's the brand of the collaborator. This is, I believe it's the largest bag from the collection. Maybe the tote might also be similarly sized or maybe a little bit bigger. It's a rucksack, so it's like a backpack with a drawstring closure on top, except the drawstring are the leather straps, which connect to the shoulder strap in the back. The way the entire bag is kind of closed off, it's really cool and kind of ingenious. It's one long leather strap that both acts as the shoulder strap as well as the closure system for the bag. And then there's also a leather handle here. And I'm gonna show you how this looks like on and the various ways you could wear it later in this video. You have the signature off-white zip tie in the orange color, which you can see in their shoes as well. So like with their Nike, especially with their Nike collaboration, this was featured prominently on all of the collaborations. So you could tell from far away that it's off-white. I think that's a pretty cool idea I personally am not a customer of Off-White, but I do like some of their collaborations like this one. So there's a front pocket here. There's a button here with the Byredo B logo and it's a snap button. It's one large pocket in the front and it's the thing is it's lined in leather, which I wasn't expecting, but is really nice. It's smooth leather. Basically all the black parts you see, it's all leather and I think it's calfskin, so it's very smooth the strap, the inside of the closure. You can kind of see the top a little bit where it's black. That's lined with leather. And then there's also a side zipper here. The zipper also says Byredo. And I initially thought that this was another access to the inside of the bag, but it's actually not. It's its own pocket. It's like a slot pocket where you can put things inside. You can't fit a lot because it is a flat pocket, but it is expandable depending on what you have stored inside. In a way, I kind of, I like that it's its own pocket because that's the only place that's secure. Because obviously since the top isn't a zipper or a button closure, you could have things fall out or people reach in to take stuff as well as the front pocket. It's meant for easy access, but it's not the most secure. This being a zippered compartment, is a bit more secure and you don't have to worry about it falling out because even though it's inside of the bag, it's a whole separate compartment. The bottom also is leather, which again, I was kind of surprised. I'm glad the bottom wasn't the same natural canvas because it would get dirty so fast. So I'm glad that is leather. I mean, it probably will get scratched up a little bit, but I think it'll be a lot easier to clean and maintain than natural canvas. So here's the strap with the off-white elevator music print on it. And there's one fluorescent orange strap here to keep the shoulder strap in place. And then there's one more strap here to keep this adjustable strap from flying out too much. And I think there are one, two, three, four, five adjustment holes. It shortens or lengthens the shoulder strap, which you would do depending on how you wanna wear it. And I'll show you both the longest setting and the shortest setting in my try-on portion because depending on how you wear it, you're gonna to wanna to have it shorter or longer. 
and then there's a metal buckle here I think it's it feels like it's aluminum because the color of it and the finish of it and the weight suggests that it's aluminum not stainless steel here I'm bringing it closer so you can see the texture of the canvas the strap is all leather you can kind of see the grain a little bit better here and the print you can feel the print too so it's kind of slightly either st it's kind of printed on or slightly stamped on so that's the orange strap i was talking about earlier which is also featured in their packaging for the other collaboration goods this was the zipper and it has byredo stamped there so see this is its, its own actual pocket it's not inside it's good for some things, but bad for others. So it's kind of, it has its pros and cons. This is the zip tie. It says 2013 copyright zip tie off-white trademark. And then there's the button down here with the Byredo logo. I know the strap obviously has the brands on it. But I think that's just part of the texture. So I appreciate that Byredo doesn't just stamp their name and logo all over the bag. If you look at their other regular goods, they try to distinguish themselves by really the, the silhouettes, which I really appreciate. They started their bag line, I think, pretty recently, like not even two years ago, maybe one one to two years ago, I believe. They don't actually really have any men's bags yet. So the reason why I was really excited about this one is because this is more of a masculine silhouette and a bag that I would actually use because for small bags, I usually just don't carry. If I can fit it in a small bag, that usually means I can fit it in my pockets and I'd rather not carry a bag if that's the case. Whereas this one, I show you a little bit later, it can actually fit my work laptop. Right now, I still have it stuffed. Here's the mechanism that I guess loosens it. So if you slide this down, now these straps are available to expand. I do worry that if I do this too much, I'll start ruining the leather a little bit because like I was saying on the inside here, this is all leather lined, which I do appreciate. And I think I should have mentioned this one, this bag retails for $1,400 US. And when I check their prices for the pound or sterling and euro, it's around the same price when you convert it. So there's no kind of differences unlike with Louis Vuitton goods. On the inside, there's like a foil tag. You can see the reflection of my camera that I'm using by Rado made in Italy. And it's part of their travel necessities line, as you can see on the bottom in French. This you can see right here, this flap is what I was talking about is the side zipper slot. So the zipper is right here. And this is the compartment. Mm -hmm. It's its own little pouch, flat pouch inside. I'm gonna take out all the stuffing so you can get a better sense of what's inside the bag or how the, how the bag is structured. So there's the bag empty. You can see that the slot compartment is just in the middle. So depending on what you put inside, you can kind of fill it up and move this around. There's also a leather part down here, which attaches to the, the handle, but I don't really know why it's necessary. So I do appreciate all the leather work that is on this. I know it is mostly canvas, but like I was saying earlier, even the inside, so even the inside of this slot pocket is entirely lined in soft calfskin leather. It kind of feels like lambskin, but I'm pretty sure it's all calfskin. If you were to purchase a comparable bag with this amount of leather and work from Louis Vuitton, I think this would be over twice the price. Even though the outside is majority canvas, there's actually still quite a bit of leather work on this. And I just want to quickly show you that this is my 15 inch MacBook. This is the newest one with the touch bar. It will fit inside, which is great. So So 
so you can see there it fits inside and it's not even like it's a snug fit it's it's you can tell it's pretty spacious inside and it fits on the bottom as well so it's not trying to expand the sides on the bottom because the circumference of this is larger than the width of the laptop and then you can close it up and right now there is a 15 inch laptop in there and you can't really even tell either because like I was saying it doesn't it's smaller than the bag so it's not pushing out against it so there is plenty of space for you to store other stuff along with your laptop like your charger maybe some books an external hard drive it would all definitely fit this was the card that came with it and it had a nice little message from the sales associate that I worked with that made this happen. So definitely want to thank Katie at Byredo in New York for helping me get this bag. There was actually one more thing I wanted to talk about. This did come with a little pamphlet or I think it's a card that talks about this is the the code for it it's the beach bag and natural canvas and black calfskin that's the necessaire de voyage and information about the leather being handmade and about like irregularities are normal and it also has it in Japanese, so English, French, and Japanese. It's a care card. This is my first leather piece from Byredo, so I wasn't sure exactly what this was. I thought it was originally going to be something about the Elevator Music collaboration.
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. I'll definitely be posting more of this on my Instagram and I may do a follow-up video of it as well. Subscribe for more videos. Check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. And I hope to see you in my next video.